everyone, and welcome back to APN Gaming in episode 4 of Medieval Dynasty. My name is Jared, a.k.a. CornFedCracker93, and welcome to our little homestead here. So far we got a house, a well, we got a garden planted over here, but we were unable to make it back in time before spring ended. And nobody would actually allow us to access their inventory to buy some things. So, we are now stuck with nothing planted. Summertime. I'm not sure if there's anything that we can plant in, in summertime. But we're going to go check it out right now. Uh, we did make some decent money on the last episode. Let's take a look at that. So we have 431 coin right now, which is pretty good. Uh, we also did a lot of hunting, killed a lot of things along our journey, all the way over to the other side of the map, pretty much. And now, uh, we're going to pick up these planks. We might as well, right? Looks like there is pretty much their on the only the planks there. So yeah, we did get a couple of things. We got uh, bronze sickles, and looks like they go for a, oh my god, price. Like, we can make some good money off of those. So we might end up selling one of those to buy some stuff. Or just save our coin up. We definitely need something that we can plant for our crops. And I'm not sure if you can in summer. If we can't, then we'll probably just go to crafting some more stuff back at the house. But I really want to check a couple of things. we got to do two more quests for the neighbors up here. And we got to talk to Unigost again. Yeah, the last one took us all the way across the map, but we did get those two bronze sickles, so... I mean, that's great. If I can keep one of them, it might help us later on in the story. There's Unigos right there, but we're not going to talk to him right yet. I instead need to talk to Edwin over here. How are you? Yeah, if you had talked to me yesterday, I might have had some rops planted there, dude. Uh, okay. Beetroot seeds. Using a bag during spring. Cabbage seeds. Using a bag during spring or summer. Oh. So I think we had 12 plots. We probably have enough to plant all 12 now. We didn't have enough fertilizer yet. But we can buy some more of that. We can buy six more and I think we'll have enough and the other thing we didn't have is a bag and what I wanted to see is is leather whatever you need I've got it well you don't because I'm looking at leather and you don't Thank have you. that so and let me check because if leather is cheaper I'll buy leather looks like she's potions the other guy up here with cattle might be the leather guy I just saw that goose jumping. Alright. Because if leather's cheaper, then I'll buy that. I need two more. Hmm. Nope. Doesn't have it there. I'm not sure. We can check with Adelina, but it looks like hers has a potion icon, so I doubt it. Whatever you need. I've got it. She does have a lot of other stuff, though. Some good food. See you soon. So we need to find the best suited person to buy this. It might be the girl in the store. Let's check with you? him first. Whatever you need, I've got it. And I want to. Ooh. 126. Who would be the best one to sell this to? That's my question. It probably is him. I can't imagine best goods in the valley. It being anybody else. So let's sell the one that's not as good. That gained us some good money. Uh, this flax stock. We're not getting a lot for that, so we might as well hold on to that. Um. Okay, what else do we have here? We could sell this ale. So we have a decent amount of funds right now. 
You know what? How can I help you? Let's My wares never disappoint. Just buy the bag. Oh, it's 270. Wow. Okay, let's go see if we day. can come up with leather over here first. Nobody else selling goods, just her in here. She may have some hey, leather. Friend. Only the best products here. Let's see, do you have leather, my friend? Does not look like you do. So we're gonna have to buy the bag. Easy. I don't think it's a poor investment because we kinda do need something, so Hello there. Only the best products here. Let's buy it. We'll buy one bag. And then we can go back and Goodbye. plant our crops. We also have to do a couple of quests. There's Unigos, but we have a couple more up here. So let's go grab one of these, see what we gotta do. We'll talk to... nope. This person right here. What can I do for you? Rasimir, I am Alvin and I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself to start a new life. Good luck to you then. Continue. As for me, I'm a farmer. My job is to cultivate fields. In fact, I do the same work every day, year by year. Doesn't it get boring over time? If I were you, I would die from monotony. Oh, of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in your life over and over? But my family needs my help, and I am doing my best to provide for them. I don't mean to offend you, I'm sorry. There is no need for you to apologize. I'm a little bit annoyed and short-tempered recently. There is a delicate matter that won't let me focus on my work. What? What's that, Alwyn? Maybe I could be of some aid. It may seem petty, but I'm really tired of my mother's conflict with... Jaronita, her son Dal Dalbor, won't leave my little sister Olga alone. I understand. Just a game for him, after all. When I was his age, I played with Dora Mira, his older sister, and pretended to be a knight equipped with a stick instead of a sword. But anyway, I managed to protect her honor. Like every knight does. It's adorable in its, in its way. <clears throat> Anytime. Anyway, let's get down to Earth. I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister. So that you could work with a clear mind again, huh? It would be nice indeed. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So, let's go... We did get it, that quest. Alwyn's story. Deliver a stick to Delbor. To be a knight. Where is he? Dalebor. Hi. Hi, you're Dalebor, right? Yes. You look very young for your age. Have you ever thought about becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? No, but I know quite a lot about them. Did you know that many of them started learning to fight with a wooden sword already at your age? Where could I get such a sword, not a knight? It just so happens that I have one with me, and I can give it to you because you are clearly worthy. I'm honored. It may look inconspicuous, but it's a very cer it's, it is certainly an excellent practice weapon for an inspiring knight like you. Give a stick. It looks a bit like a regular stick to surprise your opponents. And do you know what else? knights do besides fighting battles they ride horses this is well but most of them most of all they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them really sounds like a lot of work yes this is a most important principle of chivalry all right thank you for the sword not a knight now i'm going to defend those in need you're welcome young master you're welcome All right, now we gotta go back up here and talk to Alwyn. And hopefully we'll have that quest done. Think he'll pay me some money for it? That would be nice. Hi, I have solved your problems with Dalcor. Yes, I saw him running around the village with a stick. He must have had an amazing gift of persuasion. This young one does not listen to anyone. You gave me an idea with that stick and the story about a knight. 
By the way, I got this bread from Deramira as an apology for her brother's behavior, but I think you've earned it. Here, take it. No problem. It's the most refined bread you've eaten. Our Castellane's wife makes them from our local tavern. Oh, do you happen to know the man in charge, Unigas, well? No, no, not. No, not really. I spend most of my time on the field in our pass only cross when it's time to pay some taxes. All right then, see you soon. All right, my dynasty reputation increased. Alwyn's story, wait for next summer. Oh, so I got to wait. I can't even finish that quest right now. Dang it. All right. I got to talk to Unigos too. And then we might be able to head back and plant our cabbage. Wee! All right, Unigost. Hello, Rasmir. Are you getting settled? The valley is treating me nicely so far. That's wonderful, Rasmir. But you come at a poor time. My duties as a castellane await me. Of course, I understand. Is everything all right? Yes. It's not. I'm not sure to be honest. It's there's been a murder. Oh my, I thought things like that don't happen here too often. Because they don't. I'm just about to go to the crime scene and question the witnesses. I honestly don't know what to expect. I'm sure you'll take good care of the matter. Time will tell. Yes, even it will break. Jokes aside, Rasmir, it's really a serious matter. I won't be able to share more stories with you at the moment, but I believe there is someone you should meet. His name is Sambor. He was one of us. The pack, I mean. Are you serious? And he lives here in the valley? That's right. All of them do, actually. Here, I've marked Sambor's house on the map. You should pay him a visit. Great, I'll do right away. But beware, calling Sambor friendly is like calling me stung by a bee right in the tip of your manhood pleasant. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're exaggerating. He was part of the remembers, after all. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'll be on my way then. Alright, we do have another quest, I think. Is it in here? Nope. Is it out behind? Looks like maybe up here. See, we gotta complete these three, or two more quests in order to get this done. How are you? Can I help you with something? Lately, many dangerous animals approach our village at night and people are getting anxious. Say, would you be willing to cut down a number of them for us? There are spare coins for you if you do. Sure, I'll do it. A night hunt. Okay. So we can't really complete many of these quests. Alright, so we can't really complete any more of these quests at the moment, so let's head down to our house and see about getting our cabbage planted so we can progress a little bit. Nice. Killed another one of these guys. So we are back at our little home over here. So we need a couple of things. We need our fertilizer. It should be in here. We have 12 fertilizer. We can put this all down and then we can get our crops planted. And we can be well on our way to having some crops here. Oh, we unlocked our food storage. Good. We can go into first person for this. I'm not sure. Let me let me know what you guys think about first and third person. I kind of like third person, but wooden hoe. I think we need to fertilize this. Yep, or how what I mean. There we go. And this should make it ready to plant.
We are unlocking a lot of stuff right now. So let's uh, go here. We'll seed select field. Should be cabbage seeds. And we have 12. There. We have our crops planted. Nice. All right. So, as you can see, we have a few more things that we can build now. Uh, nothing under extraction. Hunting. We do have the hunting lodge that we can build. Right now, I'm not going to. The barn type of farm buildings workers employees who provide crops and derives they can also be assigned to work fields and orchards it has been threshing mm. don't have anim any animal stuff done yet we do have a workshop that would be nice to have I think kind of putting it I don't know where's aesthetically would it look the best. I think I'm going to put it right here. And then we can kind of start building it. We need some stone. I think we have some supplies in here. Alright, we can at least move now. We still have quite a loaded inventory but it's okay because we're going to be putting most of it into this. There. There. We only had one log. We're going to need more logs. And now we'll go up here and cut down some more trees. We might have a trick that will actually work in our favor. We can cut some of these down and roll them down the hill. <laughs> it kind of worked last time. We just got to roll them like right here. So let's get to cutting. So we're going to try to drop all of these and see if we can roll them down the hill. Because then they'll be in like perfect position for us. So I think if we roll them right here. Try this. Drop all seven and let them roll. That's perfect. And then we can pick them up down there at the bottom. overweight again so we can come back and get these stumps at a later date yeah I'm not sure if the trees will respond after you know a season it doesn't seem like they did after the first season but maybe after a couple they will I'm not sure maybe after a year they'll respond I'm not sure if they do respond it'd be interesting to see all right and now we open this up Drop all nine. Let them roll. Let's see how far these guys made it down. Oh, not bad. They're right here. They're pretty close. Pick up these eight. I'm encumbered, but I can. I don't have that far to go. We'll bring out our hammer. We'll be ready to put these guys on here. 
I think that was another thing that I did have for a customization setting as well. Uh, no, I guess I didn't. Dropped items from spoiling, I, so they still will spoil. Alright, put that log up here. So we are going to need more logs. But I think I do have enough here that I've collected. This is nice. They like rolled all the way down here. <laughs> yeah, that works out perfectly. And eventually when we have workers, they can go and do all of this stuff for us. At least that's my... That's my thought behind it. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works, but. So now we need straw. I think we have a bunch of reeds over here, actually. Yep. I'm not sure about these respawning either, whether they do after a couple of seasons or every spring or something like that. I mean, we have plenty because there's some on the other side too. I'm going to try to collect like 50 right now and that should be enough to do what we need to do for the straw on the roof. And then we'll have a completed workshop. I'm not actually sure what the workshop helps us with, whether we can craft new things. Alright, so we have 64 of them right now. That ought to be enough to do what we need to do here. We're actually starting to look more like a homestead here. Nice, our workshop is completed. So let's take a look here. So it doesn't look, so we can craft a simple torch here. Other than that, we really can't craft much. So if we craft this, will it help us unlock more stuff maybe? I don't know. We do have some more storage here now. So we'll put our logs in here, our sticks straw and we're actually gonna go grab these logs behind here oop I need water I wish it popped up with like a warning message when you're low on stuff because sometimes I don't think to look down there all right and we'll go grab these logs oh those are nine logs so we actually have some decent logs going on now we have some a good start and while we're here let's uh, extend our road from here over to here and then from here over to our well I think this is awesome like what you can do as far as doing that stuff Let's put our logs in here, our stone. We'll kind of use that for our storage. And we got other buildings and stuff that we can build now as well. We have a wood shed, which would be nice to get eventually. We have our hunting lodge we can still get. We have a barn that we can get now, which I'm going to place some of these things. Hmm, I kind of want the barn, like, 
to be somewhat of a focal point, like maybe up here. And then we can start building that. We'll put our road from here to here, make it look all official. And then we can kind of build out around there too. You know, we're starting to look like a homestead now. I don't think we have a lot of stone, so I'm not going to go into building a lot of that right now. Yeah, we're kind of short supply on stone, so we got to go out and gather. I think I only had one in here. Yeah. So once we we can start building on this next episode and getting it built, we need 12 stone. We do have a good supply of logs currently. And maybe we'll put our woodshed over here. That doesn't have to be too big. Yeah, somewhere out of the way. But yeah, we're, we're working our way up. We got our crops planted. It's time to go to bed. That's a good way to end the episode right now. Next day. We are almost halfway through summer. Our cabins are planted. We got a barn ready to go. We got a workshop. We're moving up in the world. Do we have any skill points to place? No. Technology. This is where we're learning more stuff. Like a stone flower pot says we can do that in the woodshed. Sitting stump. Huh. Oh, wait. We... We spend coin on this? Is it coin or reputation? I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. The woodshed we can do. I didn't even notice any of this stuff before. Stone spear. Bow! What? Bird trap. We can start getting some of this stuff. Yeah, we have to buy it. Spend coin on it. Okay. Okay. We have 425. So I can tell you what we're going to be doing. Right off. Yeah. The barn. A lot of the stuff we can start crafting. Oh my. The workshop. What can we get in here? Cut wooden spoon. I don't really care about it. That's all aesthetic stuff, isn't it? Maybe we can sell it though. Nice. I am psyched. I didn't even notice all this stuff before. So, that's good to know. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you're enjoying this series, once again, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay up to date on all the newest content. I am so excited to get building now because I did not know that all of this stuff existed. Like, I really need that bow. Like, that's going to be one of the first things. I'm actually going to buy it right now. And... So, type of campfire used for roasting meat, sleeping, remote places, required torch to light up. We can't make a stone spear. Does it actually tell you how much more damage it does? Not really. But we need stone arrows, so now we're going to be able to get into the bow. But we need the hunting lodge. Oh boy. Building. Hunting lodge. Let's build it. I'm not sure where I want it, though. I don't want to block off stuff going that way, so I think I'm going to kind of put it like like that. Continue our roadway to it. Nice. And we're going to need stone for this. So we got a lot of crafting to do. And then we're going to build out our road to go this way in between them. A little homestead going on here. I am so psyched. Once again, like I said, leave a like if you're enjoying this series. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we will see you guys next time on Medieval Dynasty.